is not a case. God is love. So if whatever you are doing, God is not in it, it's not love. It's fake love. There is fake love and there is true love. True love only comes from God. That is why Jesus Christ demonstrated that perfect love. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ demonstrated that perfect love. Jesus Christ demonstrated that perfect love. And Jesus loved these homosexuals here. Jesus died for them too. It's okay, God. God forgives you. There's forgiveness for you. Jesus loves you. Thank you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you guys, okay? But you need to repent because Jesus is coming soon, okay? Yeah, he loves you. There's forgiveness for you, okay? But you need to repent. Don't be proud. Proud, because if you are proud, you're going to miss heaven. And if you die in your sins, you will burn in the lake of fire. But God loves you, okay? He loves you. Come to him now. But if you die in this way, you won't go to heaven. And angels just recorded your video. Because I'm standing here with angels. And on judgment day, if you did not repent, they will flash this event to you. I just hope you repent. There's forgiveness in you, okay? And when you truly repent, you have to separate from that false marriage. We live in a generation of Sodom and Gomorrah, sadly. But Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Today is the day of salvation. You see the way people are so proud in their sin. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. A lot of people think they're going to have a party in hell. There's a no return. It's a place of pain and torment. Eternally. It's not a good place for you. That's why we preach the love of God. That's why these, these, these gay people came and were kissing here. In front of, of me and the camera here. But I continue preaching the love of God to them. And telling them that God loves them. And if they repent, God will forgive them. But if sadly they die in that way, they won't go to heaven. That's just the word of God. But there's forgiveness in them too. For them too. There's deliverance for them too. God can save them from that sin of homosexuality. Because it's a sin. And it destroys the soul. Whatever your sin is, just bring it to Jesus. And he will set you free. That is what the world does today. Today a lot of people clap for darkness. And they shun righteousness. When you are doing something evil, they clap. When you are doing something righteous, they shun it. But I just want to let you know, the Bible says whatever you sow, that's what you're going to reap. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. Okay? But like I said, repent. I cry for your soul. Because I was lost too before like you. I was once there. Huh? Jesus loves you. Run to him, okay? You guys need to repent. No, Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commands. And he said, you have to deny yourself. You have to deny yourself. You have to deny yourself. Jesus said, if anyone wants to come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. You can't say you love Jesus and you still want to continue in homosexuality. You have to come to him and say, God, and you are doing it boldly and pridefully. You have to come to God and humble yourself and repent. That's the only way. Today is the day of salvation. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ for the salvation of your soul. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you today. Maybe your last day to hear about Jesus. Today may be the last moment of your life to hear the good news of Jesus. But if you die now, where would you go? If you die today, where will you go? Where will you spend your eternity? Too many people today think life is all about work, sleep and die. Really? Really? Are you an animal? No.